Welcome to the Week in Review at the Nebraska Department of Education. I'm David Jesperson, Public Information Officer for NDE. Thank you so much for watching this brief update. The goal over the next few minutes is to fill you in on some of the news, notes, and events that have happened recently involving NDE. And we had a lot going on this week, starting with a trip to Grand Island to help the district celebrate $13 million in total impact from a $6 million Gear Up grant. Gear Up stands for Gaining Early Awareness and Readiness for Undergraduate Programs and is a federal grant that is designed to increase the number of low-income students prepared to enter and succeed in post-secondary education. The grant will include personalized academic support for students with increased rigor to prepare them for college, expanded professional development and training for the students, teachers, and increased financial literacy education and planning support for the students' families. Commissioner Bloomstead spoke at the event on how the grant aligns with NDE's priorities of college and career readiness and equity of opportunity for all. The fun continued Tuesday with the 4-H National Youth Science Challenge. The event is an annual program that provides access and opportunity for kids to take an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math by participating in a hands-on STEM challenge. The event, just one of many positive educational partnerships, had more than 150 students participating at 20 sites across Nebraska. The state headquarters for the Code Your World Challenge was Innovation Campus in Lincoln. There, students showed off their computing coding skills to complete the Code Your Dance Challenge. Wednesday, ACT released their annual report with scores from the graduating class of 2018. This is the first time the report included 100% of Nebraska students who now take the ACT as part of the statewide assessment for juniors, a component of the Nebraska Student-Centered Assessment System. The number of graduating seniors who took the ACT rose by more than 5,500. Nebraska's average 2018 ACT composite score is 20.1. Of the 17 states with 100% participation, Nebraska had the fifth highest composite score. This is significant. States that test a high percentage of graduates tend to have a lower average as the scores include more students who are not on a college course taking track. Nebraska had the fourth highest percent of students meeting the ACT English, Math, and Science benchmarks, and the eighth highest percent of students meeting the Reading benchmark among those 17 peer states. Wednesday was a busy day as educators from around the state met in Kearney for the statewide School Safety Summit. This event provided meaningful education from local and national experts on prevention, preparedness, and standard response protocol. Attendees also engaged in discussion and action planning with state senators on steps to address school safety and security in the 2019 legislative session. The event was headlined by John Michael Keyes, the executive director of the I Love You Guys Foundation, which NDE supports as a statewide standard response protocol. Dr. Mario Scalora from UNL also led discussions on the need for threat assessment and management. Prevention and early intervention are the keys to stopping school violence and saving lives. And finally, staff had a chance to act like a kid again at the Lincoln Children's Museum for the NDE All Staff Meeting. Commissioner Bloomstead led the group of NDE staff to the museum for a tour and to talk about the importance of early childhood education. The commissioner stressed how critical early childhood is to the mission at NDE because everything we do can be tied to our students' early years. Thank you for tuning in to this Week in Review. We'll see you next time with the latest news from NDE. Thank <laughs> you.